Welcome to Deb's Venue Menu. Today we're going to be talking about sort of breweries that are also used as venues in Toronto. Got some old favorites as well as some new ones. The first venue I'm going to talk about is Liberty Commons, which is in Liberty Village. It's a brand new space and it's two floors. It has a number of great spaces for events. There's the barrel room, which can fit about 32 to 45 people. The drink tank, which has a capacity of about up to 30. The entire restaurant, you can fit up to 175 guests seated or the entire event for 350. They also have an amazing patio on the side, which I'm hoping is opening up this summer. We can hope. They're very customized there where you can do a number of vegetarian and vegan options and really they are a full service venue. More of a boutique craft brewery that also has venue opportunities is the Henderson Brewery. That's in the South Junction. Right new, it's like the brand new hot spot in Toronto with a lot going on with regards to art shows and athletic events. The Drake Commissary just opened up next door. It has its own parking lot that you could also use as well as near TTC and Up Express. Here at the brewery, they have a capacity for about 180 people, and they have three different venue areas. They have a tasting room, which is available to guests, as well as the different spaces. The next venue is of an old time favorite, which is downtown, right by the CN Tower and Convention Center, the Steam Whistle Brewery. It's a historic space that's uh, you know, been there for a number of years, 30 foot ceilings, support pillars, exposed brick. It's in a uke space, it has a, a few different areas as well. Um, three different specific areas and you can host between 30 up to 750 people, one of the larger venues in the city. It's been the home to many corporate events, weddings, charity fundraisers, a lot of art events, tastings, you name it, they've had it at the Steam Whistle Brewery. Another newer space over the last few years is the Amsterdam Brewer House, which is a great spot down on the water, one of the unique spaces down on the water where you can host an event and it's only 500 meters from the TTC, from the CN Tower, the Rogers Centre. It also has a number of different areas. It has eight independent areas and its total capacity can go over up to 850 people. 550 inside and 335 outdoor. Another huge venue in the city. Another venue which has been around for a few years is the, in the distillery which is the Mill Street. They have the original brewery as well as the beer hall. I'm a big fan of the brewer hall with the open kitchen, the long tables, covered patio, community seating. It can welcome people up to 15 to 500 people. Very versatile there in the distillery, or you can just have a private space in one of the old brew pubs. It's available for a number of different events, and the possibilities are endless. One of the newer spots, which has been a brewery a few times over, but with a new company called Batch, it's by Creamer Springs, and it's the kind of place you go with friends and colleagues. They have in-house breweries and classic comfort food. It's a multi-space venue with two levels. It offers AV, free Wi-Fi, its own sommelier service, and a number of customized menus. The venue you can get for about 175 seated or 250 receptions, or you can just use the main floor for about 120 seated, 180 reception. Downstairs they have a ping pong table, arcade games, with a separate bar and a window into the busy kitchen. This can do about, seat about 50, stand about 70, is a perfect little area for an after work uh, corporate event. Thanks for watching Deb's Venue Menu and don't forget to check out deblois.ca under event tips for some other venue stories and upcoming launches that are happening in Toronto of new spaces for your next event. We look forward to sharing some of these spaces with you at our next Venue Menu.